This is kind of an exciting and interesting project. Investigator-initiated trials are trials that are often led by investigators like myself and other people in the, in the GU community. They're often ideas that come to us and then we take those ideas forward. They can be contrasted from the industry-sponsored trials where you know, a company has an idea and they come to you with a ready-made protocol that you then take forward. So there are really two major types of trials. Um, and so what I was really curious to look at is how many are investigator initiated and how many are industry trials and what are the trends over time and what are the trends in the different countries, Canada, the US and France. And what we found is that the growth of investigator initiated trials was slower in Canada than it was in other places like France and uh, the US. So it's really trying to understand how often investigator trials are being done and potentially what are the barriers to having investigator-initiated trials um, taking place. And I think investigator-initiated trials give us some unique opportunities where we are on the ground seeing things in the clinic and then we want to investigate those things. And, and sometimes it's, uh, it takes effort to get these trials going. And so if it's something that we think is important, maybe we should be looking at dedicating resources to help investigators develop these trials of their own.